how to add product add-ons for your shopify store hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great i will show you step by step how we can actually go ahead and start adding product add-ons to our products well uh in our shopify store and i will show you a free alternative because this is usually uh, something that you would want to pay for uh subscriptions and all of those things but i'm going to show you a free alternative yes if you want to use more elements to it you will need to upgrade but let's just go ahead and get to it so you will need to go to the apps section and i will just go to all recommended apps you would want to go to shopify app store from here we are just going to look up um, upsell and i'll show you exactly which application we want to go for uh, which is this one right here which is upsell app by essential wolf it's going to be for free but then there's more elements to it that you can upgrade to use but we just want to install this one so upsell app by essential wolf just click on that and click on install from here we it was just going to load a little bit and we want to confirm our installation and then it should be ready to go i will show you exactly how we can set it up um it's actually very easy and simple to do so no confusion here whatsoever it's just we just need to wait for it to finish installing here okay so once it's done installing you should find yourself within this page here uh, now it should it could say the essential wolf upsell app is currently enabled but i had a problem where it actually was not so let's just go ahead and enable it first to enable it we would want to go to online store and we would want to go to themes and we would want to go to uh, the customization page here uh, of anything that we are actually using right now it does not really matter and we want to go to the app embeds right down here on the left panel now you should look up essential wolf upsell and it should be turned off by default so just go ahead and make sure you turn it off and before we exit out of the customization tab what we need to do is we need to go to any product page that we have uh, and we basically want to go to the sections here or elements um, now this should not be here what you want to do is just go ahead and add a block go to apps and then just go ahead and add to the essential wolf upsell uh, block you can just go ahead and place it wherever you want i'm just going to place it right underneath the title uh, and we just want to click on save it, it's not going to show yet we need to create funnels for it to show so let's just go ahead and do that we can just go ahead and exit out of here and we would want to, to go ahead and open up the app from here we can just go ahead and start creating funnels for both product page or cart page or even if you want to, for it to be post purchase and so on I'm just going to do the product page one I'm just going to select manual mode and you can play around with this uh, however you like I'm just going to give it the name test and the title is going to be test and I'm just going to select all products but if you want it to be specific products uh, and you want the add-ons for specific for products you can simply do so I'm just going to select all products and the products that are going to be recommended are these two once this is done I'm just going to go ahead uh, and set up the default title for both of these this is the preview I'm just going to go ahead and save it and now if we actually go ahead to our product page it should be turned on now i just sped through it because you know it, it, the, these options are very simple and you can just go ahead and uh, play around with them yourself to your liking uh, but here if we just go to this product page here it should show up right there so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching